Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Um, so today we're going to talk about surrounding yourself with the right people. All right. Um, so first of all, there's always going to be people that tell you you can't do it or you're crazy or art is just a hobby or you're not good enough to make a career out of it. There's unfortunately always, 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 always going to be those people. It's about two and a half percent, sometimes a little bit higher, depending on who you hang out with. <laughs> um, so long story short, don't hang out with those people. Don't ask them for opinions on your art, etc. Hang out with the people that lift you up, okay? Hang out with the people that fully support you, that want you to make it, that believe that you can make it, because you're your own worst critic. You really don't need help from other people, right? So, but I mean, it's kind of a common sense thing, but a lot of people really don't think about it that way. You know what I mean? It's it's not like a first, it's not in their nature, not human nature to not have to have someone's approval or support. You know what I mean? So if you have family members, let's say that's kind of can be the hardest one that don't fully support you or they don't, you know, come to every show, watch all your videos, etc. Don't take it personal. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But then you have the people that do fully support you and do you know, give you all the encouragement, whatnot. Those are the people you want to hang out with as much as humanly possible. Then there's, of course, the people that are doing what you want to do. So those are going to be the people that you want to listen to. Not your broke friend, not the friend that can't make it as an artist and has a nine to five job. You know what I mean? Like not the person who gave up on their dreams. You don't want to listen to any of those people. You want to listen to the people that have made a career doing what you want to do. You know what I mean? That have the life that you want to live. Those are the people you want to go to for advice. I see so many artists, especially on Facebook and whatnot, that give other artists advice. And they say things like, uh, you know, like, oh, you can't make any money off of prints. Or, you know, having um, art shows are stupid. You know what I mean? You have to do everything online. Or galleries are dead. Or galleries is where it's at. Blah, blah, blah. Right? All these people giving all this advice and yet they are nowhere as an artist like nowhere i would not be taking advice from those people especially the people that say in any way shape or form that it can't be done if they tell you something can't be done definitely don't listen to them whether they're successful or not i honestly don't care don't listen to the people that tell you that you can't do what you're trying to do because they're wrong you can do it so if you want to be a, a gallery artist, you can do it. You know, if you want to sell all your art online, you can do it. If you want to do a bunch of art festivals, you can do it. All of these things you can do. You totally can. You can make money from art prints. You can make money from merchandise. You can make money from YouTube. You can make money doing anything. You can. So anyone that tells you otherwise, they're wrong. Don't listen to them, okay? Um, and then one final point that I want to really push on is support other people that help you. Um, and this is really, I think, something that a lot of people fall down on. And they don't, it's not because they're not good hearted, you know what I mean? But they just don't think about it. Um, I have this philosophy, right, of flowing power to the people that flow you power. Those are the people that you want to help as much as possible. So take, for example, my dad. My dad is amazing. He flows me so much power. If he were to say, hey, I need 10 grand by tomorrow, I would go find it for him. I have no idea how, but I would drop everything and go help him. You know what I mean? If he goes, I need a ride to the airport or I need help with blah, 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 right? I'm going to go out of my way to help him. Whereas if I have somebody that's, you know, a friend, but there's not really been any back and forth of ex ex exchange or help or whatnot, I'm not going to be as quick. Now, I will still pretty much help anyone who asks because that's in my nature. But the people that have really helped me the most and have flown me the most power, I'm going to go out of my way to help those people and flow those people power. Um, another good example is um, Stone Goat Countertops. They are a resin company that I use. 
And if you haven't checked them out yet, please do so. I'll go ahead and post the link in the description. Go subscribe to their channel. They're amazing and they have helped me so much. So I will do everything in my power to help them. At the time of this video, they're at almost 200,000 subscribers. So I'm going to help them get to that by the end of the year. And I'm going to flow them as much power, send them as much business, talk about them as much as possible because they have helped me so much. So that's a really important thing. Don't take any help that you get for granted. Always try to flow it back. Um, I've had the reverse where I've helped someone a lot, gone out of my way to help them and help, you know, maybe build up their channel or whatnot. And then they've done literally nothing in return. So am I going to continue to go out of my way to help them? No, I'm not. You know, if they ask me for my help, I probably still will, but I'm not going to go out of my way to help them. So, you know, from the receiving end, make sure you always give back and you always flow back. And then also from the giving end, you know, give as much as possible. It will come back to you in some way or another. Maybe not from that person directly, but it will come back to you. All right. So I hope this helps, guys. Just long story short, make sure you surround yourself with the right people. Take the right advice, listen to the right people, follow the right people, don't follow the wrong people. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.